What's going on guys, it's Aaron Play, here and today I'm going to be showing you all the dynamic features on the map Freight. Now this is kind of like a train yard map and there is actually quite a lot of dynamic features, a lot of kind of secret hidden things that you might not have known about and as the first one is that kind of door that you can see I just shot open at the start of the map it would be uh, blocked off and closed, there's a little kind of bit of chain that's tied around it to close it and you can just simply shoot it or knife it and that will open for you and that opens up kind of another way to get into the building and then uh, on the end of this tunnel down here there is also a similar uh, effect where there is a chain linked kind of gate and if you shoot it it will open and, uh, and then the next thing which is probably one of the biggest is uh, this actual tunnel itself now this underground tunnel is something very very interesting to the map and you can actually close it off by moving this entire uh, kind of like stack or machine in front of it and uh, just by activating this button you can hold square or X and uh, it'll actually bring up the door and move this kind of big thing on wheels over there is also also another switch directly above it on the kind of similar pillar and uh, when you press it it will activate it move it back or forward depending on where it is and then there is a third switch on the other side of the door so don't think if it's closed then you're locked out there is a switch on both sides there's two on the outside and one on the actual side of the tunnel and you can see the, uh, the switches will activate the door and open it or close it depending on which side you're on and the next feature is these open and closable doors by similar switches that are lying around the map I think there are four in total I'm not sure there are a good couple and I'm showing you all of them in this video there is a bunch of doors around this entire map that you can open and close and uh, generally just look for this switch with the green light on or red depending on whether it's open or closed and uh, you can actually open and close the door and uh, this pretty much controls the map very very interestingly because you can actually shut off or open certain lines of sight or ways that enemies or friendlies could come through and uh, it does actually make the map quite different because there are certain kind of lines that a lot of people are used to and if they're kind of trying to escape from a gunfight and trying to go certain places then uh, this kind of makes it a bit more interesting and uh, this is definitely definitely a good way to control the map and make sure you know exactly what you're doing could be very interesting in games like domination where you want a limited kind of uh, access from where people can shoot you or a game mode like blitz where it's very involved in getting to people's spawns especially the thing i showed earlier about blocking off and opening the tunnel uh, the underground tunnel is a very good way to sneak into the enemy base or sneak out so it's very interesting to to close that and the final piece of interactivity is this ladder right here it's very simple you can see the ghost logo right there which uh, kind of signifies that there is something you can do and you can simply shoot the ladder and it will come sliding down and that's another way to get up to this kind of uh, spot in the top of this building so uh, that is a way to get into the back of it in case you didn't know you just have to shoot the ladder and once it's down it will be down for the rest of the game and uh, it's another way to get up so I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did then feel free to give it a thumbs up rating if you want to check out my other map guide where I've gone through all the other features on all the other ghost maps and you can check out my Call of Duty Ghost playlist which is linked in the description and they find a bunch of videos from me. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later. Jump.